How to Cop Train Your Baby Start by offering cops as early as six months for baby to simply explore. Give them lots of opportunities to handle cups and experiment with grasping, rotating, tipping, dropping, and more. With enough practice, they'll eventually get it. It will take a lot of trial and error, but after some time, your baby will one day drink from a cup with ease. There are several benefits to skipping the sippy cup, which became popular only after being introduced by Playtex in the 1980s. For one, sippy cups do not teach children how to drink without spilling. They can also harbor bacteria and latching mechanisms or lids. Prolonged use of bottles and sippy cups has been correlated with tooth decay, orthodontic issues, chewing and swallowing problems, and more. Dependence on bottles, sippy cups, and straws is generally not recommended past the age of two. But it's easy for babies to learn how to drink from a cup if you start early and make it fun. When beginning, use small amounts of thick liquid in the cup that flow slowly, like a smoothie or yogurt. This will give the child time to respond to the liquid's flow. Make sipping from open cups appealing to the senses by offering special little cups to practice with. For older babies who refuse to accept a cup, feeding therapists recommend taking the following behavioral approach. Start by bringing an empty medicine cup to the child's lips and follow up with a reward, like praise and encouragement. Do that 10 to 20 times, followed by the reward. Next, work on baby's acceptance of a cup rim dipped in a puree or a flavor. After that, encourage a simple tasting of a thickened liquid in an open cup, eventually adding a certain volume goal. Finally, work on acceptance of thin liquids in the cup, again with a specific volume goal. Always keep it positive. No matter what, practice makes perfect, so make sure to offer cups every day and model their correct use. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more helpful videos.